I'm Dr. Randall Castling. I'm a cardiologist at Methodist Hospital. I'm the director of the cath lab there and do interventional cardiology. I probably thought about doing that as what I wanted to do when I was 10 years old. So, pretty much forever. Some of it's by process of elimination. You do a lot of different specialties as you're going through medical school and residency, and this is uh, the funnest one by far. You get to make people uh, substantially better. You can fix them sometimes immediately, and then you can set them on the right course so they can live a long and happy life. I think Methodist is a good place, one, because it's got an administration that supports the, the doctors in doing the things that they need to do. They have very good nurses and they train them very well, that the facilities uh, have everything that we need to take care of the patients, uh, and uh, it's a very pleasant place as a physician to work. That's why I'm here. I enjoy what I do. I like taking care of patients. I find great rewards in, in helping them. Uh, I mean, it's frustrating at times when things don't go well or where they don't follow through, but uh, you uh, certainly get a lot of rewards for people like this when they come back and say how much they, you know, thank me for what I've done and how much they appreciate that. So, I mean, it's, it's a very rewarding career. Coated stents have made a big difference in what we do. Well, stenting alone has made a big difference in what uh, we do in interventional cardiology over what we had with this balloon angioplasty in the past. Uh, you know, I think the improvements in medication and just the, the knowledge of where we need to get with people's cholesterol and blood pressure treatment has helped a lot in taking care of those things. Uh, you know, for heart failure, I think aquaphoresis is an example of something that's made a big impact. It's not used very much, but when it's used, it can make a, a, a dramatic shift in the patient's care. So those are important things.